Hi, welcome along to another video. This time we'll be looking at some good news from the world of geoengineering. Weather modification stuff will cover Poland, Pakistan, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, Colorado and Idaho from the USA. And then we'll finish up with some more geoengineering news. So to start with some good news. Scientists say no to solar geoengineering. We'll read about it in a second. Blocking the sun's rays too risky to consider as climate change solution. Following the link to the source Wageningen University in Holland, scientists say no to solar geoengineering. More than 60 senior climate scientists and governance scholars from around the world have launched a global initiative calling for an international non-use agreement on solar geoengineering. Among them are scientists from Utrecht University and Wageningen University and Research. So that's really good news that finally people who have the ability to speak out are speaking out. It's a wise move. It's what a lot of us have wanted. Okay, weather modification that isn't quite weather modification. Polish researchers invent anti-smog sound cannon. So installed on top of a metal container, the experimental device consists of a large upside down cone that makes a loud sound every six seconds. In the picture, those of you with a keen eye will be looking at the sky. Residents said they can barely hear the sound, it's like fireworks going off because fireworks are quiet, aren't they? So sound cannons, we've touched on this um, in a video in the beginning of the month, where sound cannons were used around 1900 as an early form of cloud seeding to prevent hail damaged finds. So as an anti-smog thing, yeah, it is a new invention. And there is also the situation of this from 1900s was considered as pseudoscience, things you could do but it definitely wasn't working but here we are 120 years later and people in Poland seem to think that this does work in some way or another so it's really it's science and not pseudoscience and it's been going on for a very long time as many of you know over to Pakistan artificial rains to control smog can be high risk mechanism the initial results of an ongoing study revealed that the use of artificial rains to reduce smog can cause uncontrolled flooding in urban areas of the Punjab province. According to the details, the Climate Change Ministry is currently working on a study to get to know how much artificial rains can be beneficial to control smog, especially in urban areas. The study will be completed next year but the ministry evaluated the initial results that have shown that it needs tampering with nature to bring artificial rains. When cloud seeding is done, it brings artificial rain, but there is no scientific procedure available that can stop this rain. If it never stops, then it can cause flooding and create disastrous situations. The initial evaluation also pointed out the experience of Turkey that has recently used artificial rains to control fast spreading forest fires. The ministry made contact with the Turkish government officials and asked them to share their experiences. The information revealed that when the Turkish government carried out cloud seeding, it brought rains, but it had no capacity to stop them due to which many parts of the country faced heavy floods. Three people died due to the forest fires in Turkey but 10 died because of the floods caused by the artificial rains. The initial findings stated that the government could trigger artificial rains, but it would have no mechanism to stop them. So there you go, in Turkey, using weather modification to stop forest fires. Three people died in the forest fires, but 10 people died in the floods caused by the weather modification. It's like Tasmania all over again, or Kerala in India. Linmuth in the UK, etc. Over to the United Arab Emirates. Cloud seeding in the UAE. It's from the end of December, a month ago. 
The NCM usually conducts cloud seeding when convective clouds are monitored to maximize rainfall in the region. Over to America. Cloud seeding in Colorado could make waves in the west, as from the end of October. Advancements in weather modification are providing water to drought-stricken areas downstream, but is it just a drop in the bucket? And from Idaho, Idaho research shows cloud seeding works as western states seek cure for severe drought. Back to geoengineering from the middle of December last year, six weeks ago. New report investigates geoengineering oceans as a way to combat climate change. The report, released by the National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine, looks towards the planet's oceans to combat climate change. Just wanted to pick up on this article because it mentions estimated research costs range from allocating $25 million to investigate artificial wave creation to spending $350 million to research electrochemical solutions. That's a lot of money. And it could be suggested that research is expensive, but that's a lot of money. A similar article appears in Tasmanian Times as well. There are links to that and links to everything else in the information section of this video. Back over to the United States, preparing the United States for security and governance in a geoengineering future. It's a semi-abstract piece. Feel free to go and read it. Short and sweet video this time. Look after yourselves. See you soon.